If necessary, place the base plate on the foundation to verify fit and to mark the concrete at the point of the jack screw contact. For installation of the jack pads, some type of marker should be used to locate the precise location of the jack pad in relationship to the jack screws. The jack pad should be made of 2 inch to 3 inch diameter steel bar stock cut to a thickness of a half inch. Round the edges, sandblast, and prime with Philly Clad 1000 if required. Philly Bond Blue 6A and Philly Bond Number 6 are high compressive strength epoxy putties, either of which may be used to securely fasten the jack pads to the concrete foundation. Apply a generous amount of Philly Bond onto the jack pads. Remove the markers that were placed on the foundation, position the jack pads, and level in two directions. Allow sufficient time for the Philly Bond to cure. We can now place the base plate on the foundation for leveling. By using a machinist level and the jack bolts, level the base plate according to the pump manufacturer's specifications. After the base plate is leveled, jack bolts must be greased in order to allow easy removal after the epoxy grout cures. Wrap all anchor bolts with foam rubber or several layers of duct tape, which will prevent the bolts from coming in contact with the grout and also allow for proper bolt stretch and tensioning to achieve maximum clamping force. Grout forms are usually constructed with three-quarter inch plywood and two by four lumber using half inch chamfer strips where required. Application of several coats of a hardwood floor paste wax to the face of the forms that will come in contact with the grout will prevent the epoxy grout from bonding to the form material. Before installing the forms, make sure there are no loose particles on the foundation. Place the forms around the foundation and the base plate and brace both vertically and horizontally. The forms should be liquid tight and sealed with a caulking compound. Prior to mixing and pouring of the chalk fast red, a final check of the following should be made. 1. Are the base plate and concrete foundation clean? 2. Are the chamfer strips in place and the forms waxed? 3. Are the foundation bolts properly wrapped and sealed? 4. Is the mixing equipment clean? 5. Is the foundation temperature above 65 degrees Fahrenheit? 6. Has the chalk fast red, including resin, hardener, and aggregate, been preconditioned to 70 degrees Fahrenheit to 90 degrees? Shown here is the mixing equipment and the chalk fast red grouting material conveniently laid out and ready to be mixed. Notice the protective sheets of plastic placed around the working area. Appropriate safety equipment as required by the plant safety engineer should be worn when mixing any epoxy grouting materials. It is not necessary to use a solvent to remove any uncured chalk fast red from mixing equipment, tools, etc. since cleanup can be accomplished using soap and water. The convenient packaging of chalk fast red is such that the hardener is contained in a plastic tray which is inside the resin container. The unique formulation of the chalk fast red aggregate is a low dust material which saves time during cleanup and does not expose workers to excessive amounts of airborne dust particles typical with most epoxy grounds. Removing the lid from the container of chalk fast red will expose the tray of hardener. Remove the tray of hardener and pour the entire contents into the resin container. 
With a Jiffy mixer blade and slow speed drill, mix the liquids at a speed of 200 to 250 RPM for three minutes. Use caution so excessive amounts of air are not mixed into the liquids. Chalkfast Red is mixed in a portable mortar mixer with a mixing speed of 15 to 20 RPM. After the liquids have been properly blended, pour the entire contents into the mortar mixer and immediately add the four bags of Chalkfast Red low dust aggregate one at a time. Mix the Chalkfast Red only until the aggregate is completely wet out, which will take approximately one minute of mixing time. Do not overmix. When the chalk fast red is thoroughly mixed, it is transported by way of a wheelbarrow or buckets to the pump base plate and poured. By using a funnel or grout head box, pour the chalk fast red into the grout fill holes located in each compartment of the base plate. Continue to pour until the compartment is full. As the chalk fast red is poured into the base plate and up into each compartment, the air in that compartment will be forced out through the vent holes. Pouring is complete when chalk fast red is coming out of each vent hole and the compartment fill hole. After sufficient curing time, the forms may be removed and the concrete portion of the foundation may be painted with Philly clad 1000 series epoxy coating if so desired. Clean all tools, wheelbarrow, jiffy mixer blades, and mortar mixer with soap and water. Check with the local safety or environmental engineer at your plant for proper disposal and handling of cleaning water. This program has demonstrated only one method of pouring chalk fast red in a pump grouting installation. Should you be interested in other methods, consult your local chalk fast distributor or ITW Philadelphia Resins for recommendations concerning special techniques.